going to say something that's going to hurt some feelings. And that's okay, because feelings get hurt. And then things get better. But this is my opinion. Just my opinion. But, uh, I mean, it, it can't be fact, because you definitely can't fact check this. There's no way to check this. So it's, it's just an opinion. But the economy has gotten worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and ever since COVID hit rental prices have skyrocketed because the people who own these rental properties want to make sure that you're paying enough to cover people who are choosing not to pay during COVID because they're not going to lose out anyone above someone else is not going to lose out when there's someone below to eat the shit yeah so anyway workers you and me people going to jobs we're trying to get money paychecks you know to cover our bills but the companies need workers so that they can produce things or do things or provide services or goods or products in order for them to make their money so they need workers and you wonder like we can't find any jobs right now we don't have any money no jobs are paying but at the same time we are pouring pouring three four five six eight hundred thousand people into this country practically every hour definitely every day could easily be double that could easily be less than that at any given moment we're giving them places to stay which runs up rentals you know because now there's less rentals available for you and me we're giving them jobs, which means, well, a couple of things. They get to be the diversity hires instead of the black people. So suddenly they have get getting all of the diversity hires and the black people can't get any special treatment now. And so it's going to be harder for them to get their jobs with their diversity hires, They're either that they are expecting or needing. And then, and then... Because they are coming from places that pay you so little when they get their job offer for half the price that they're looking to pay you and me, the, the white and black folks, even the legal Hispanics, then, well, they take it. And so what happens when 60% of the workforce is now working for half price? That's right. No one gets raises. No one gets promotions. No one gets moved up financially. Why not just wait for you to quit your job and we'll hire more people to work at half price? I said the quiet part out loud. Oh! So, the Democrats want to be known as the people who brought in all of these illegals and gave them all kinds of amazing mercy. They want to because their job is to sit behind a desk and rake in hundreds of millions of dollars illegally through lobbying and all this stuff in the backdoor process. Remember, the Clintons didn't have a dime when they left office. They are billionaires at the moment. They didn't have a dime when they left office because they were in all kinds of stuff. And I think people pulled out. You know, it's kind of like how Tiger Woods, when he was having his affair and he got caught, people, you know, stopped paying him things for a while. So that suggests that your annual or monthly or weekly or bi-weekly bi check, check, paycheck isn't the source of your income if you're magically broke when people are unhappy with you. Moving forward with this, the, the 
the proof of the lobbying and all, it, it's there, but more so, if they're in office and we increase immigrants to 90% of the population and they're the only ones working because you and me can't possibly survive on the paychecks that they're doing. We have bills that cost us to even get to work. Well, then they're going to vote for the people who kept them, who brought them here and gave them these jobs and provided them these rental places and provided them these cell phones and provided the, this, them these, this transportation and their EBT and their food stamps. And then the white American, the black American, the Jewish uh, American, the Spanish Americans, the Canadian Americans, all of us who have been here, who were born here, who have came here legally, will no longer be able to vote in a non-biased way. The flooded amount of votes will be pro-Democrats who will stay in office raking in money while everyone else doesn't have any. How do you, how do you tell your boss you want more money? You go to him and you say, you know, I've been here this long, I've been doing this much, I've done this much work, I've got this much experience, I'm disqualified, and they look at your qualifications and go, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. And then they look at this document that was written up by somebody, somebody, and they have this illegal immigrant that's been brought in, was not deported for his illegal immigrant status, where they basically said, who are you and where are you from? And he says in his language, uh, some South American language, it doesn't have to be Mexican language, it's, it's just anywhere down there that he was a master engineer, he had 20 years experience, and he's da -da 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 over super overqualified, which he wasn't, but he's lying because he knows he needs to be working and he wants to work, and so he's given himself a good resume, and they write it down for him in our language and send it in to your boss, and he's been working there couple of weeks now and you're like you know I, I want this raise I want this promotion I need it my rent went up cost of food's gone up cost of gas has gone up car transmission is dying I'm gonna need this money your boss man's looking at it and going why should I pay this guy that's been here that's working that knows things this much money this guy over here is already working for half this and I can give him 10 extra cent to work that position. Anyone, anyone who is worried about the state of our economy should be worried about that. Anyone who feels like they need more money or there's just not enough income there or that they can't handle if taxes get higher. Or if they're already living paycheck to paycheck. Need to stop being in favor of keeping illegal immigrants. Legal immigrants come through legally. They pay their way. They come with documents that prove what job they have worked. I worked with a guy. His visa came up and he went back to Mexico because he wanted to do the right thing and file paperwork correctly. And he can't come back because there's so many damn illegal immigrants here that they've got to find a job for that he's been pushed back on the list. Pushed back. So far back. They don't know if he can come for about three years. Because of all the jobs they've got to give to illegal immigrants before he can come back. Although he was already here legally, had already paid his way, already had a passport, already had a green card, had already been working here, was working with the company that I'm working with, he was my amigo, my best friend, almost a brother, if not a brother. I cared about his quality of life, his, his happiness. I 
I had invited him over for Christmas. He's a great guy. Here legally. Can't come back because some pussy bitch decided they're going to come across the, court, the, the border and take his one single solitary position in line. And then, of course, once you lose your place in line, the only, way she, only place you can go is back. Back to the back. This doesn't just affect me and you. This affects everybody. This affects the legal immigrants. This affects the Democrats. This affects the guys and girls, the gals, the boys, the girls living on unemployment and disability and Social Security. Because all of that money is getting eaten up. I'm begging you. Begging you. Think.